Just Nigeria is just a name that the British like threw on to the amalgamation of a bunch of different tribes there that destabilized the region and mm. led to a genocide and a holocaust of the Igbo people. Um, when mm. the 1960s, millions of them were systematically killed and murdered. Yeah, he told me about that too, but I was like running late. So. And so it's like, <laughs> so this is so relevant because we have such a like never again star. holocaust yes, theme, but like yes. these people had it. But what is mind boggling to me, which I can't imagine why this is not in the news and not spoken about, yeah. is that like a large chunk, more than a, a fourth of the transatlantic slave trade came specifically from this one tribe. Mm -hmm. So how are we not starting to connect dots and being like, wait a minute. So the tribe in Africa that the government of Israel is fascinated with and, uh, you know, enamored by is now the blood of those people flowing through the African-American community here, which was, makes sense to me why they're all being like, we have an Israelite affinity where we're identifying this is us. We are this. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, so, yeah, if the DNA of the blood of these people are. Every Igbo says that the Igbos came from Israel. The 40 million Igbo people say that they came from Israel. And uh, an opinion poll has been done. Daniel Lees, who earned his PhD studying the Igbos, who worked at the University of Basel and the Tel Aviv University, conducted an opinion poll. He interviewed 500 Igbos, some in Nigeria, some in Europe, some in America, some in Israel. And 497 say that they believe that Igbos came from Israel. And uh, three, one say that he ha ha has had it, but that he doesn't believe. Two say that they don't believe, but they spoke further. And it was clear that why they don't believe is because they have the wrong notion that there are uh, white people and the black people in the world. And they wrongly believe that the people of Israel are white. They didn't know about the existence of the Ethiopian Jews. And they also don't, did not take cognizance of the fact that a lot of Igbos could fo comfortably fall into the category of white people by their, from their complexions. I understand. So time out. This is pretty fascinating. You're saying that there's 40 million people in Nigeria who have an identity that they come from the house of Israel, from the people of Israel. Yeah, who also have oral traditions to back it up and who's lived, tra who's lived experiences. Uh, unquestionably Jewish. Okay, that's great. We'll talk.